Zach, could you please describe your character for us? Yes, I'm uh, Chancellor Lapan Cadbury. <laughs> As you said, the chaplain of the uh, Castle Candy and then uh, primogen of the Bulbian Church. And I'm here to teach these princesses uh, on all things. I'm the royal tutor, so I am uh, teaching the, uh, the young princesses about the kingdom of Calorum. Uh, I, uh, I look, I'm a level three warlock. Uh, with the celestial patron, uh, and I look like a chocolate bunny with, uh, <laughs> with just like the foil coming off of it, like the kind of Easter colored foil as like as a uh, cape, and like <laughs> my robes are made of that. Uh, and I'm uh, a little stuffy, uh, I, but I know that knowing these things will help the children and also will grant them a certain power. It was the year uh, 1102, we were at war with the, uh, the, the bread people. <laughs> Chancellor, do they not have a spell that tells you what time it is? Do you want me to rush the education of these princesses? <laughs> do you want them to be stupid as they go about the world? How dare you? Give me one yeah. reason. Give me one, one reason? reason. One reason to what? To nothing. Your hand nothing. It's me? not a threat. Oh if I don't say it. Goodness. Princesses. What a, what a large goon you are. <laughs> no, I don't like about you. <laughs> oh, I have. I don't. I, I couldn't possibly list all the things I don't like about oh, you. Yes. <laughs> I'll try. Yes. I knew you yes, could. You could have like three things and it would take forever. You're just droning oh, on yes. forever. Yes. My lord. Uh, yes, the princesses. What? Are you? <laughs> they've just been like this for how long? Where they were. I, I assume they were, you know, wrapped in my lecture. Uh, <laughs> obviously, they're made recently. of straw, Chancellor. Oh well, um, who knows how long they were? Like. <laughs> Jesus. I think they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, you finally done it this time, Chancellor. I don't know. Uh, you lost them. We have to make up about an hour and a half of lessons. <laughs> When should be? When, when is it? You can actually. Uh, these made up of. <laughs> <laughs> Chancellor's <laughs> bowed very deeply. Uh, I you about deeper. <laughs> Lower. Hey, hey, hey. Deep. that seems to me like a very bad idea. Okay, the Chancellor bows very, very deeply. <laughs> I, I bow even deeper. No, um, no, 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 no. You guys, it is, um, your your Majesty, slightly complicated. Um, they uh, were there in that physical forms that looked a lot like them were there. You were bamboozled by scarecrows. Bamboozled <laughs> by scarecrows. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> Should I be? No. Are you queen? saying a king can <laughs> Okay. Uh, what yes. makes a Cat coup true? Be. Has I'm sure gone over this many, many times. Pretty much constantly. <laughs> you took notes? This is <gasps> traveling? That... No, this is traveling? No, I know. Hey, Zeus <laughs> traveling. Is that what you said? No, I said this is traveling. <laughs> Never he mind. doesn't speak A. <laughs> yeah. okay. I don't, I don't speak like A. An a. <laughs> <laughs> you laughs way too hard. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I do not sound like um, an egg. I should make that. Question. Yeah. My queen, I will have to make a very rigorous schedule for this trip <laughs> with <laughs> events. I will design. also help yeah. make the schedule. Okay, great. And it is very strict. And <laughs> we will I see want everything. to go to gift shops. <laughs> yeah. Can we go to the gift shops at the, the chapels at least? If there, there are... There will be no time. <laughs> did someone say Le Pen? Oh, my wait, what the hell did you go for? He looks at you, you and says, Le Pen, we're discussing who should go on the envoy. Oh, yes. Uh, they're all funny. Yeah, sure, on the ice cream man. <laughs> I sure. mean, yeah, he's funny. It's, it's funny, like, I don't know. I feel mean, like we get him drunk, it'll be like a good time, so. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, Le Pen goes out to, he like, uh, pretends to like, circle around the party, but makes his way outside to where the uh, Sugar Plum Fairy uh, area is. Le Pen, uh, just very exhausted, in a very exhausted way, like bows to it, and then uh, looks at the cup that's broken. Doesn't have mending or anything, but we'll try to like uh, <laughs> put it together, or, like organize it in a way to um, respect it. Uh, Le Pen, uh, you can tell that there's like a little bit of disrespect to this. Uh, waits a beat and then like, it sort of bows in like a, I have to do this kind of way. Good chancellor. Hello. He broke it. He is a sweet boy. What would you like of me now? I will do my best to be careful in absence of your standing stones. I. 
Is there any advice that you have that, that you, is there any, it feels Are like you want exes? me to. Luckily they believe you to be a member of their church. And, and technically I am. Technically, you are. But I know, we both know that there are other things at work. Look and just nods. So I will be careful and I will be bold if necessary. What does that mean? It means that though there will be great risk awaiting you, the risk will be greater if you do not act. Boldness and caution alike will be needed to survive the coming challenges. Are you sure that this family is worth such boldness? Okay. The cup is probably going to break again. I don't know if you need me to do anything about that. <laughs> do you not know the mending cantrip? I happen to, well, it's just kind of one that I don't have. But you have a lot, right? A I lot have a couple of other things I could like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we're gonna have to work that out. If you want mending, we have to work that out. <sighs> okay. Very well, Le Pen. And you see the cheek floats down, gives you a little kiss on the cheek. Okay. And says, I know you don't like me very much, but you have been a very, very good servant. I will take that and take my leave. <laughs> Lemon, I have just heard word that the ice cream man wanted to talk to you at the back of the caravan. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, surely it's to beat me around the head and shoulders with a cudgel. Sure. Uh, I am but a humble servant. Yes, of course. Yeah, for sure. Yes, of course. Yes, right. Yes, right. of course. What do you... It sounded like you... <laughs> No, we're all good. All right. Yeah, so LePan, I'm sure, is talking about the history of Fructaria. LePan, I have a question. Are you, like, leaning out the window and holding yeah. <laughs> LePan, I have a question. Have you ever heard of the Sugar Plum Fairy? Oh, I hang my head in the window upside down. Yeah, have you ever heard of the Sugar Plum Fairy? I think we have. Yes, I've heard of it. I, I just wanted to know that. more about it. Love. So in other places, they may not be too fond of ideas of other religions. Uh, like Fruteria, they may not like stories of the Sugar Plum Fairy or other religion. Just so you know. I know that you're working with the Sugar Plum Fairy, so heal my fucking sister or everyone knows. And Listen, then I'm gonna what? just... <laughs> what is going on right now? Hold on. Uh, Chancellor Le Pen Cadbury? Oh. 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 Get out of here. <laughs> uh, we are all going to die. I, 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 look, I know that... You think you know something, but that is, there are a thousand bigger fish to fry. Pan, you just said exactly what I asked. You have my silence. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, Tickle, generally. get us all killed. <laughs> <laughs> try to not to. I think LePan has, like, watched this guy be such an idiot for so long that he's, like, a little, like, uh, finally. <laughs> <laughs> finally some pride. So they're like, oh. Okay, <laughs> I see. I see what he's about. Well, You're an old man leaping off of a wagon. <laughs> <laughs> You're an old man leaping off of a wagon. That is what you I are. Hate That's the episode this. title. Yeah. They're so cute. I Those lips. Uh, eight plus eight is uh, sixteen. <laughs> for for Bobia <laughs> and, uh, and for Bobia. <laughs> Um, so, 14. So, For Bobby. <laughs> yes, we can all agree that this was very holy indeed. <laughs> we all agree. <laughs> For Bobby. Now, um, now is not I'm the time say, to I'm going to say, I'm going to allow, allow it. It's a miracle that nobody died here. I, I know. This was horrible. <laughs> uh, you see, he says, um, you are a, well, he says, of course, you are a primogen of the church. Yes. Uh, you see, he says, um, you owe the king your life. I just, owe the king my life? Just uh, for the future. Uh, okay, yeah. You yeah. owe his life. The, oh, yeah. I'm going to talk to the guard again and use a deception, using deception say, uh, this one is touched by the Bulbian faith. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. a range weapon. Uh, 21. Oh, yeah, that's seven. <laughs> Good thing I called you over. <laughs> You're too stupid and I should check. Is that right? <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, That's not mean. Uh, <laughs> you look over. Uh, Lord Crawler comes over and says, 
Did you speak to Commander Grassini? Yes. Exactly. That's exactly right. Um, if you don't, if people knew what I did and where I got my power, I would be dead. And the life that you're living now is... Sorry, that's rude. It's not worth it to die for this. That's... Can, we, can we gather all the children around? Yes. Let's get... <laughs> I um, actually want... Chancellor, uh, did you want to talk to... Yes, I would like to talk soldiers to... Soldiers who were suspicious? I... Uh, I would. I don't know... It feels like what is it done is done a little bit there, but I can try to chat with them. Why well, really cool? He got that... stuck on the roof. Shut up. It was <laughs> so... <laughs> Talk to my sister okay. like that. Hey, I'm going to run Everyone, let's get in the carriage. Let's get in the carriage. Get in the get in the carriage. Sometimes people come back to the scene of the crime. Oh, all these people we killed. Yep. We'd come back to the scene of the crime. Back from the dead. Excuse me, Princess Jet. <laughs> yes. My, your Highness, please uh, join us for... Um, we're, we're King Amethar, if she comes, it's because I yelled for her first. Please no, join no. us. Uh, yes, no, I'm going to have to insist. Rain the meep together. As it were. God. <laughs> uh, can we have a conversation yes. that is very Do I frank also think right he's now? hot? Is there something swelteringly sexy about the fact I'm trying to spy on someone? Everyone who's needs to learn a little yes. self-preservation here. Ex well put. Uh, That's wait, your. What we don't fuck? need self-preservation. Did, did you have any dreams last night? Last um, night? I did have a dream. <laughs> like like before the Leah, you had yeah, yeah, maybe after we have a conversation about what dreams we all had. Did you I have any dreams with her? We're all going to die. Unless wow, you listen to me right now. A heavy dream. Lord Lord Crawler goes over and says, I think it might be an overstatement that we are all going to die. Let's talk I about... I think we are all going to die if we don't. Lepan, as a friend, that is a condition you may be experiencing as true, but it might say more about you than the situation. I think oh, we should Oh, shit. Go you got put in your place by a cake. I, okay. Could I now just say one to two topics. specific things before we move on? <laughs> we're all going to die. Stop. Stop. It's not bad. If, if the, the bulb created us, he also gave me these powers, right? It's not from the bulb. Cool. I, would, I would ask just, just to be clear that we had a bit of a conversation before all of this started, and I think I proved to you my motivations so I would ask I that you. we not talk about that as well. Hey, I gave you my word on battle. Uh, I'm sorry I broke your teacup. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've never had a teacup. Well, I know we, I just wanted to say that really I quick because- I just like a piece of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see if he hates me? Did I miss something when I was in the, the other carriage? We, they're making things up. <laughs> Um, Liam thinks that you love him. Do you think this kid thinks that you're obsessed with him? <laughs> Maybe I should talk to my buddy over here. <laughs> Liam, I thought we were hanging him? out. Yeah. <laughs> Liam, listen, uh, am I oh. here? Yes, LePan, you're here. Oh, well, thank you, Liam. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, all right. How are you feeling? <laughs> It's a little touch. I'm feeling much better for Pan. Uh, thank you for all your help during the battle. It was Plus. essential. Uh, essential. I'm, I forgot how uh, how useful you can be uh, out there as well as in the castle. Uh, of course. Uh, in... Okay, Chancellor, I would like to visit this chapel. There will be time. <laughs> One, though. I know about this milk lady, and I'll tell you all about it. Before you do. <laughs> Uh, and then you try me out. Uh, LePan, you see <laughs> furiously in the carriage is Jet changing it to... I'm reading in here. <laughs> Please stop. I'm holding the door of the carriage closed. <laughs> I'm... I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> um, uh, I think LePan uh, bows again and is like, uh, I hope... I, I trust that the bulb is shining on you, Pontifex. And you as well, Primogen LePan. Yes. I heard the awful news that you were attacked on the way to Comeda, and that none were killed. A miracle, and only one as devout as yourself would have brought the presence of the bulb so powerfully that none were lost that day. It was truly a miracle. 
Uh, the bulb did greatly shine on us this day. Uh, we come now to pay our respects to the Concordant Emperor. If you would like to join, you are more than welcome, Primogen. Uh, however, I understand that there is business to attend to here at the Cornucopian Hall. Vices to be indulged, wine oh. to drink, etc. I would rather join you, I believe. Uh, let me make sure I have my leave. Absolutely. Um, Primogen, Archbishop Oliver Onion Patch, got a little onion head. Uh, uh, pleasure. <laughs> uh, pleasure to, uh, to make your acquaintance. Uh, yes, as well. Uh, A king. Um. <laughs> Nowhere. Stop. Right. This is us. We were talking. We were yes. saying cool Calroy stuff. Calroy fully drops a cup he was holding. <laughs> right? God, I, God. Sorry. I, my king, I <laughs> was invited by the Pontifex to join them at the... I mean, you're not a short guy. Yeah, right? You, you're a big, a tall nowhere. rabble. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it seems as though it's on... You know, I, mean, I, I, I trust my king's eyesight. I don't know about what's going on with the two of you. Um, <laughs> well, I have fine it, eyesight. It, it feels as though... It might be best if I join uh, for the sake of the church. That feels right. We'll leave more del delicate conversations until you mm. return. Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, Lord Swirly walks up and says, I would also be happy to provide the social graces. Uh, thank God I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Your grace. Oh, it's an honor to meet you. I, I don't think I've, we've met. In the light of the bulb, an honor as always mm. to meet an archbishop and primogen of the church. Uh, you see, um, the pontifex says, Sir Carradine, the, uh, the good primogen is not an archbishop, and does not actually, uh, how should we say, administrate the church. Instead, he is a miracle worker, gifted with the light of the bulb itself. Uh, his rank as primogen is not a result of his work as a bishop or archbishop. Uh, instead, he has been blessed by the bulb above. Yes, the, bu the bulb saw fit to grant me certain powers, so that is why. Sir Carradine looks at you and says, Even more an honor then, Your Grace. It's an honor to meet you. <laughs> if by my life or death I can protect you, I shall. Okay. <laughs> Trina. Yes, well, from what I have seen in Candia, everyone there cross paths with is, is quite touched by the bulb. How are things in... Uh, Vegetania? <laughs> how are things in Vegetania? Oh, yes, I mean... I, I wish that the bulb would see fit for some miracle to come to the, the king himself. She says, yes, good King Belvedere. You see that she looks up and says, ah, your holiness. Bows deeply. Perfect. I bow slightly deeper. <laughs> she, uh, uh, she, uh, the Pontifex Brassica lets her ring be kissed by Primogen Alfredi. Uh, she rises and says, Ah, and do I have the pleasure of knowing the Primogen of Candia? You do. Le Pan Cadbury. I am the Primogen Alfredi. It is a pleasure. Alfredi, to... yes. I understand that we are to make an envoy from the church to pay our great Mother Cathedral's respect to the ailing emperor. Yes, I... Your Grace, is everything all right? Have you spotted something over on that wall? No, I'm just taking in the sights of the city. Uh, An enemy of the faith? Uh, no, no, you can... In the wall? Everything seems, at this moment, perfect and fine. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope those who perpetrated such an act are uh, judged by the bulb. I was so saddened to hear that you were attacked on the Sucrosi Road coming from Candia. Yes, it was um, a horrible thing. We were attacked but by the, you know, a miracle no one was killed. I believe that this was the bulb shining down on us and protecting us in that moment. Uh, it's, there was much going on. No one knows exactly what was happening, but it's hard for me to say. Some false idol is hmm. a... Plum? Sugar plum? Oh, yes, the sugar plum fairy, yes. Yes! We, yes. there are, there's a deep history in candy of different, you know, more primitive religions. I would not wish to see the good people of Candia led down the path towards the hungry one. Mm. It would never happen in my watch. She smiles, and you see that she actually puts 
a dainty hand on your arm uh, and takes a hold of your arm as uh, to to steady her as she walks. So uh, yeah, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he actually said that. <laughs> Good Primogen, would you remain here in the waiting chamber while I pay the church's respects to the emperor? Of course. I make my, I, you know, bow to the pontifex and say that I must rejoin the king of Candia and uh, make sure that everything is going well with my people. Mm. You see, she uh, nods, uh, holds out her hand for you. Uh, of course, kisses. Oh, fantastic. Oh, Le Pen? Mm, yes. Ah, we're all going to die. <laughs> oh, thank God we can't hear whatever LePan is thinking right now. Um, LePan is just... I'm gonna... Hey. I point to LePan. <laughs> hey. What? <laughs> <laughs> she thinks she's casting message on you. Are you or not? <laughs> <laughs> LePan says he's not. Why is everyone using their hand in that way? <laughs> What's a fun tourney? It is an amazing tourney, yes. I um, I feel as though maybe we have gotten off on the wrong foot. I have a request directly from the king. He has asked uh, something of both of you. Would you want to hear it, or would you...? <laughs> Well, if the king has entrusted us with a special favor, then yes, we must. <laughs> yes, he has. Only you two are, are in the box near the king, uh, close enough to uh, help him with this very specific task. He was hoping that once this tournament is over, he would be able to join us in the box and uh, have four glasses of wine. Now, I need either of you to hold two full glasses of wine mm -hmm. and hold them until the tournament's over so that he may join us in merriment. This request is exceedingly normal. <laughs> <laughs> and we shall dispatch with it post haste, my good yes, chancellor. Yes. Okay, can we get a, a servant to bring them to you? Immediately someone's there with goblets. Okay, so they, now just hold them. Just hold them. <laughs> we shan't take any little sneaky sips. The crown uh, will always remember you for this. <laughs> <laughs> My good chancellor. LePan's gonna push both uh, the lord and lady uh, uh, swirly onto um, onto the other promogen. Oh, hell yeah. And, and with the hopes that their cups of wine blind her briefly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just, can I can I just talk to Alfredi and say, uh, Alfredi, what 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 is going on? What what is what is the power? You look at Alfredi. She's covered in wine and screaming at Swirly and sure, sure. At, this, at Lord and Lady Swirly. I'm just going to yell, call off the fight. <laughs> yes, my king. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Me and the Chancellor, perhaps. Yes, I will join you on the episode. Uh, my lord, do you wish to take any of us the Todd Garland with you? Maybe, um, maybe all of you go with the kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. can I pull them two aside? Yeah, for and sure. And just say, I, I noticed from the box that it feels as though we could be in a little bit of trouble with Liam. Um, what do you mean? He may have been found out for his actions. At the very least, I feel like I can try to talk to them. Do you think you, do you have the ear of anyone important in the church? Can you, I mean, I know you're a primogen, but can you, what, you think, we would need the Pontifex herself to be able to. I have, I'm not saying it's likely that she will help us, but there is a chance that I could help with that? Well, it sounds like between the three of oh, us, we have... Oh, this is um, well, I, Leave me alone with the prisoner. I go... Oh, uh, you see that, that uh, Commander Grassini says, I am afraid we cannot allow the prisoner to be left here. Your king was just attempted to be assassinated. You we can just step outside. Can you just step outside for a moment? I, I cannot step outside for a moment, I'm afraid. I. You see, he says, if you... Nobody would blame you if you slit this man's throat. And I cannot allow that to happen. I've been ordered by the Hierophant Rex of the Balbian Church to make sure that 
justice is dispatched by the church in this instance. Mm -hmm. I am of the, I'm a primogen of the church. You will not allow me to have a conversation. Are you saying that I am a liar and that I will, a man of my faith will kill this prisoner? Uh, the room emanates with the status that Lapan suddenly commands. Grissini bows, says, I am deeply sorry, your grace. Um, leave uh, the chancellor and Primogen to his business uh, and clears the room. Sweet, I'll, I'll walk out with him and keep an eye on him. Okay, I, uh, I'm going to, as they leave, come up to the shackles and start to uh, try to pretend like I'm uh, unshackling him and say, we do not have much time. Uh, where are you supposed to uh, meet them uh, as a deception roll? Okay, you're trying to deceive, gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, go ahead and give me a deception roll. If you're actively going to free him, I'm gonna say roll with advantage. Okay, I don't have any tools to free him. You're just like going for the chains or whatever? Yes, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, get, still roll with advantage. Deception? Yep. 25. Oh, fuck yes. I'm gonna roll his insight. That's a natural three. Wow. Um, you see, he says, um, he says, there was no plan, your grace. I was supposed to execute the king. I was supposed to move, but I couldn't get to him in time. He moved out of the way. The blade didn't find its purchase. I was supposed to simply walk away and let him die on the field. Okay, um, there's still time for me to do this. Where could I find another blade like this? Who can I trust to help me with this action? Uh, you see, he looks at you and says, um, I know not where blades of water can be made. I only know that the primogen Alfredi can, if she was able to give me three, she can certainly give you more. Great. I, uh, <laughs> uh I just slap him in the face. <laughs> oh. You slap a carrot? <laughs> a chocolate rabbit slap, a chocolate, wait, a rabbit slapping a carrot! Oh, there you go. Wow. You should just eat it. Oh, yeah. uh, I uh, walk over to to the guards and tell them to go back in. Uh, they go, <laughs> oh, they, like you were in there. I, I tell them to arrest Primogen Alfredi. Holy shit! Uh, they look at you and they say, on on uh, on what grounds? He just told me that that's where he got the daggers. Move now, or we will lose our advantage. Uh, I whisper to him, where is your bulb now? <laughs> Very well done, Chancellor. Hey, thank you. <laughs> I tried. It uh, didn't go well. Well, I have a headache now. <laughs> you okay? I think I should go with them. Do you want to join me? I don't trust a lot that is happening here. I think it would be wise if we figured out, um, if we explored our options in the routes of a boat, he looks to you. And my authority as primogen of the Bulbian Church. Uh, she stands up. She doesn't look fucking shook for a moment until you talk. She looks around and says, what is the meaning of this? I am a primogen of the church. You forget yourself, Chancellor Le Pen. You forget the Bulbian faith. We have found you out. We know you made the daggers. I bow to the senator and say, uh, thank you for understanding. I appreciate your decision-making in this difficult time. He raises a glass and says, I owe you my thanks, Primogen. I was trapped in a very boring conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't find it brave on my end. I feel as though I'm just falling the steps laid out by the great bulb itself. For the bulb bay, the way that the juice reflects the light of the bulb, it is... Uh, yes, the juice of the bay is quite stunning. <laughs> yes, on a hot day, you can really smell it, you know? It gets... <sighs> it, uh, I went out there on the, mid, the middle of Highbright one year when I was here, and I tell you, <laughs> it was like chunky. 
Yes. I went for a swim and got stuck, you know? Oh. Yes. <laughs> well, I do not envy <laughs> the strength of Ceresia. Uh, I, uh, I, do you, how well do you know Alfredi? I know Alfredi more than I would like. And I would say that most that know her know her more than they would like. Hmm. She's um, going to be in the uh, prison for at least this evening before the Pontifex can see her moved to a religious prison, correct? I would, uh, I would believe so. What? <laughs> and I was like, uh, what you, you said what about the bulb? I was like, where's your bulb now? Oh! A bunch of tart guard outside that shouldn't be listening all go, woo! <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, LePan. Yes, we're doing band practice. Mm. Yes. Yeah. They're anti one type of, other types of magic. There are people who command the magic of the bulb who have real magic. I thought the bulb. Mm. I, I just had a question uh, yes. before we go forward. Good call. Have you thought about who you could possibly? Um, yes. Um, the islands geez. are. Um, is there anything as much to as I... nominating Preston. your? <gasps> King Preston. Preston. Okay. Emperor Preston, your highness. Remember is titles. There, is there anything to nominating the person you fought today? I had considered this. Just as a show of, of faith? Just uh, to help. So before, I, bef when I left uh, af after we arrested uh, Alfredi, the senator uh, Chiabatta uh, gave me the offer of accompanying him to find out more about what's going on, um, and and said that I should just bring those who can be to keep a low profile. Um, and that should happen later tonight, I'm trying to decide. Um, who specifically is in here? Uh, you see that you hear a voice outside. Uh, very sorry, sir. Uh, this is um, the Archbishop uh, uh, Oliver Onion Patch on behalf of Her Holiness, the uh, Hierophant Rex, you know, Elizabeth Brassica, the Pontifex. Uh, yes. Um, um, uh, could you give us a moment? Absolutely. We are happy to take a moment. <laughs> you see that uh, he closes the door. Um, Senator Chibata might come by while I'm gone. You want us to stay here? I'm trying to... I don't trust you with the Pontifex. I don't... The Pontifex seemed pretty chummy with the Lady Alfredi. Um, she may or may not be trustworthy, but I feel as though... Calroy speaks up and says, let's be very clear. If Primogen doesn't attend to summons of the Pontifex, there is no telling what happens. I understand. I'm merely wondering if we should attend him. I... Why don't you go to the Pontifex? And we will go. Calroy. With Christini. That's what I was thinking, but I was just. Or one wondering. of us could go with you. <clears throat> um, and the other could go. Calroy looks and says, um, I, I will be very honest. I think that the good chancellor can handle himself. I'm not concerned about Le Pen. It looks very strange for a primogen to walk with escort in the streets of Kamada to attend a summons by Her Holiness. We live in strange times. We do live in strange times. Let's not make them any stranger. All right. Um, I feel as though I should go, but if the Senator Chibata comes by, I guess it makes the most sense for you. You three to go. He says, well, I'm going to stay here, but <clears throat> yes, I think that's a wise choice. Okay. Um, Primogen. Uh, Le Pen approaches. 
bows deeply. Primogen Cadbury. From where does the strength of this church come? I would say that the strength of the church comes from the bulb and the very people that it shines on. I apologize for making this situation, for doing something that makes your life harder, makes the church's life harder, but I was given very little choice. You know what happened inside the church? Two of your very own people tried to kill the king of Candia. And please forgive me for saying this, but I did not trust the inside of the church at this moment. I, of course, swear to the bulb. So you're just trusting the word of a Cerisian soldier over a primogen of the church. When will this happen? Right now. As you see fit. Um, I can do it. Um, Liam Wilhelmina, your sentence by the church. What the fuck? On the trial of witchcraft. I'm, uh, it's not a very good situation, but I think if he comes with us, that will be the best outside of openly fighting these soldiers and going to the war with the church right now. I think this will give us the best shot. I look at LePan, I say, he won't be harmed. What? He will be judged as the church, the Bolivian church sees fit in a public trial uh, where all can see don't worry, Liam, we're going to be your witnesses. What? You would have to go to uh, a jail cell. I'm going to look over at Basha and quietly say, Wow. You're going to let the King Amathar take all the glory of fighting the bulb. Uh, the Meatlands will surely hear about this, how your cowardice <laughs> kept you from fighting. Liam, that backpack. There's so much of flowers in here. Flowers? <laughs> I will step forward and cast fly on Theo. So Lepan is going to step forward, cast fly on Theobald. Mm -hmm and then walk over and stand in front of Liam, get in the way of him and the paladin. And as bonus action, heal Liam for two D6. Yeah. For four. I misjudged you, Chancellor. Oh, shut up. I, uh, like, I thought I kicked your ass earlier. <laughs> uh, Le Pen, at f you take... Um... Ninth, uh, 18 damage okay. from the first attack. Five, nine, um, 14 from the next one, so 18 and 14. And then from the last one, you take six, 14, 19 points of damage from the last one. Oh, thank goodness. On the last stroke. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, 51. Yeah. I had 50 and he hit me for 51. He goes, False prophet. How could you betray the bomb? That's three spit in his eye. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and this mace lowers you to the floor. No. Um, and I'm going to need a death savings row. Does LePan see the Sugar Plum Fairy or anything interesting? And do I, do I, would I, in this state, hear the rest about that book? As you slip into unconsciousness, 
uh, you discover that though people can form a relationship with the bulb in the same way and get magic from it in the same way, unlike the sugar plum fairy, uh, you discern the true nature of the bulb and its presence as a spiritual entity in Calorum. The bulb is mindless. It does not possess any intellect, intelligence, sapience, or awareness. It merely is, and the people that are capable of accessing it may access it for whatever ends they wish. Death saving throw. Come on, I have one. Two. That is a failure. And Preston is going to fly to you and curl up in a ball under you and give you advantage on your next roll. Preston's gonna take the help action and then this, my friends, is gonna be the nat 20 that breaks the window. Yes. Uh, Lepan, it is your turn. I'm gonna need another death. Can I just through. pray to the sugar plum fairy? I had another wish. You were supposed to, I was supposed to do a third thing for you. Do again. That is a second death saving throw failure. You have one last death save. There is only one thing that can possibly save you, and it's a nat 20, which would let you regain one hit point and take a turn. I'm gonna, puke. Um, I'm gonna get the box of doom. And then you can fly if you still have a spell. I don't know if you do. He does. He's only done one move this whole Please. fight. This is this is the nat 20 right here. Come on, sugar plum there. Come on. I fucking hate you, but please. That's a 13. Oh. Um, on the ground outside of the cathedral. You all need desperately to run as fast as you can. Um, Le Pan, bludgeoned and beaten by Sir Caradin's mace. Uh, you are unable to cast spells, but your eyes open blearily for a moment. As you look up, you see the Pontifex and Sir Caradin um, staring down at you. Pontifex lips curl. She says, Heretic. Apostate, warlock of the sugar plum fairy. <laughs> you mock that which is bright and shining. Do you have any last words? Uh, can I get insight check just to see if, if she knows the true nature of the ball? Um, yeah, uh, give me, give me uh, one uh, with advantage. It's only a 14. The blood seeps into your eyes. You can't quite look at her. She stares at you and you think um, that this woman, uh, doesn't, not only doesn't know whether the bulb is real or not, or sentient or not, you also think she doesn't care. Mm -hmm. And you think that she gets what she wants from the bulb, and that is power. Any last words? <clears throat> Knowing that, <laughs> just want to say, just loudly to everyone that the bulb cares for no one. She whips her head to Keratin and says, "End it." You hear a voice in your ear. They wouldn't have survived this without you. My third wish is for you to come home. Hmm. In the alley outside, you watch Keridan stand up and a sickening crunch as chocolate splashes and covers the front 
of the church. With a final twitch, Le Pen is gone. And I may have misspoken. It's not a hand on your chest so much as it is a paw. <gasps> Hello, Lee. <Liam. laughs> Me. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I grabbed you by the throat earlier. That was crazy! <laughs> um, it was a little bit of a stronger move than I meant. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> you Le Pen! How are you? <laughs> I'm, what is going on? Oh, I, um, when you came down here, I'm, I guess I'm here just to pack up, so to speak. What do you mean? I have to take these things to the hungry one. Whoa. And I think LePan picks up some kind of magical artifact. You see that there are some scrolls on like a, a weird sort of like stone altar and some candles. And as LePan extends his paw to them, you realize that these scrolls and candles are symbols, manifestations of like dreams, memories, stories, wishes, prayers, uh, and they just curl up in his hand and he deposits them as motes of light into like a small scroll case at his side. I've, I've been feeling the hungry one. I've been seeing visions mm. that smell and sound just like this. What, what's going on? Um, Liam, this place is, is disappearing. Uh, when Ruby killed the Sugar Plum Fairy, it undid the illusion of this place. Okay. The, this quote unquote afterlife <laughs> that the, you know, uh, King Amathar's sisters and Jet and I were all in is not truly an afterlife. It's sort of this sick dream of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Oh. And so we all have had have to go to the hungry one. And so Is that a bad thing? Not necessarily. Would we still be able to contact you and like Zuli and I don't think so. Jet? They're already gone. Oh. And I'm just... Well, we're bringing up the rear. <laughs> Me? And oh. Preston leaps into your arms. <gasps> oh! My baby boy! My sweet boy! You look so good at a haircut! I gave him a little haircut. That's so cute! You gave him a haircut! He won't stop following me around for some reason, and... You see Preston blasts out of your arms and goes and flies and nuzzles LePan's head. Leaves a little okay. wet you pig love snout. It. Oh, I do love it. You <laughs> love it. <laughs> no, Wait, I don't love it. It's LePan, so what... Have you been watching? Are you able to see what's going on in our world? We can see... We were able to see... But... We're fucked. What are we gonna do? I can... I'm, I'm gonna get that carrot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking ruin that carrot. I'm a war guy now, and at first I was just happy I was good at something, but now it's all I think about. Mm. And I just want to get better and better at killing um, yes. bad people. Well, I do not like that carrot man. <laughs> very much like him. <laughs> but before he killed me, I, I found some information what? Before I could tell any of you, I was struck down. Well, what was it? And that's why we're talking. Uh, Out this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you gonna teach me something? I will tell you something. Cool. I don't know if there's much time to teach. But, mm. Um. So, the interpretations of the bulb and the hungry one have been very complicated. And a lot of agency has been put on them for as long as any of us have been alive. But the truth is that they are truly just light and dark. You know, one is creation 
one is destruction. They're just purely forces. They're not alive. They have no dog in the fight. Um, the because of that, the church, pontifex, whoever can attribute any meaning to any of it without in, with impunity. Yeah. So they don't care about any of this. And what is going to happen, what has always happened, is that the hungry one and the bulb both do what they do. The bulb creates, and the hungry one destroys. So without the Sugar Plum Fairy, the Sugar Plum Fairy yeah. is not, they're not gods. The Bulb and the Hungry One are not gods. The Sugar Plum Fairy is also not a god. They're more like the Sugar Plum Fairy and the other magical beings in yeah. this world. They're all just more like living spells. They're closer to mortals <clears throat> than they are to anything else. So they were, the Sugar Plum Fairy is of the bulb, and she was able to use the power of the bulb to create this area we are now. But without her, it's time for it to go. I don't know. Is it... There's no way to get back the people that everyone is so upset about losing. We're going into some huge battle at a house, hmm. I is it worth killing even more and more? Should I keep being like a, a war guy? I could still be a seed guy. I just need a therapist. There's nothing wrong with being a seed guy. Yeah, and I that's think true. that's when the balls of light that are hovering in Le Pan uh, come forth. So, one of these looks sort of like the sugar plum fairy, right? This is a, the bulb. This is that energy. This is the energy to create. Mm -hmm. One of these is like the cinnamon dragon, you know, the hungry one. So it has the energy to destroy. Mm -hmm. And it's this third one yeah. is something else. It's the energy to change. And I think that's what's happening to this world is things are changing. And that's what happens when we leave this place. The energy that is created by the bulb is also destroyed by the hungry one. Yeah. And that cycle keeps continuing. And I think that's, that's not a bad thing. So but the way that I can help you is I can offer you one of these. I'll take that one. Which one? The change one. The change one. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> ah, never mind. What's up? Fucking. So people are so hell bent on, on using their time alive to either homage creation or destruction, but wouldn't change be the only thing that the living have to do with? I think that. Is there, Both are fine. Is there a religion associated with this wish? I don't know that there would be a religion associated with it, but I think it's associated with living. Okay. I'm just wondering if we made the wrong choice with killing the sugar plum fairy. No, she sucked. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> and one last question. Does the queen now have a mini hungry one that she's treating as a pet? That it's, feels bad. Remember when I said a living spell? It's mm -hmm. kind of like a living spell. Okay, cool. That's cute then. Yeah. It's not going to grow up and then eat everyone. Maybe. I don't know. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you too, LePan. Are you in pain at all? All the time. No! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, rabbit! <laughs> I gotcha. As you're thinking of LePan, you look back and see a memory of LePan uh, in a sort of city town in the Great Stone Candy Mountains as a young, scrappy urchin, like a pickpocket thief kid with no 
birthright or inheritance, lowborn. Uh, and you see some standing stones of the Sugar Plum Fairy, and you see a holy place where different scrolls and stories of the Sugar Plum Fairy have been amassed by the priests of the Sweetening Path, sort of freer to go about their business here in the mountains. And you see a young Lapan break into a small monastery of Sweetening Path druids and steal an ancient bound tome uh, with a ritual on it to summon the Sugar Plum Fairy, bind it, and get three wishes granted. And you see this little kid do this ritual with not even necessarily really being able to read or know what they're doing, do the ritual and the Sugar Plum Fairy herself showing up and the bindings not working. <laughs> and instead of being bound uh, in an act of mercy, the sugar, or perhaps in an act of manipulation, the Sugar Plum Fairy saying, uh, I'm not going to give you three wishes. In fact, you are going to give them to me. And uh, the young rabbit replies, you know, or what does Lepan, the young Lepan in this memory say? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he always sounded like that. <laughs> uh, and the sugar plum fairy saying, but your wishes won't be of much use if you have no magic to grant them. And you see her granting the first magical powers to Lepan and making him a warlock. Cool. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being a seed guy. <laughs> Preston, come on. 